prove that the angular momentum of a rigid body the angular momentum of a rigid body prove that the angular momentum of a rigid body rotating about an axis of rotation about an axis of rotation with an angular velocity omega is the product of is the product of is the product of moment of inertia of the body moment of inertia of the body and its angular velocity and its angular velocity in the diagram this is a rigid body and ab is the axis of rotation this is the axis of rotation about which the body rotates ab is the axis of rotation and this rigid body this rigid body rotates with an angular velocity omega about the axis of rotation ab omega is the angular velocity of the rigid body we consider first constituent particle of mass m1 which is which revolves in this imaginary circular orbit about the axis and this first constituent particle is at a perpendicular distance r1 from the axis of rotation and r1 is also the radius of the imaginary circular orbit in which the first constituent particle revolves and this first constituent particle revolves in anti clockwise direction in horizontal circular orbit v1 is at linear velocity and p1 is the linear momentum of the first constituent particle omega is the angular velocity which acts vertically upwards l1 is the angular momentum of the first constituent particle this is the imaginary circular orbit in which the second constituent particle of mass m2 revolves and r2 is the radius of this circular orbit this second constituent particle has the linear velocity a linear momentum p2 and linear velocity v2 which act inwards v2 and p2 act inwards provided uh, the constituent particle revolves in horizontal circular orbit anti clockwise and uh, omega is the angular velocity in this case all the constituent particles will have the same angular velocity omega l2 is the angular momentum and this is nth particle of mass mn and rn is the radius of rn is the radius of this imaginary circular orbit in this horizontal circular orbit nth constituent particle revolves in anti clockwise direction an nth particle will have the linear velocity vn in inward direction and pn is the linear momentum of this constituent particle and this constituent particle will have the same uh, same angular velocity omega and angular momentum is ln which acts vertically upwards capital m is the mass of the rigid body which is equal to m1 plus m2 plus dot 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 plus mn when a rigid body when a rigid body of mass capital m rotates when a rigid body of mass capital m rotates about an axis of rotation ab about an axis of rotation ab with an angular velocity omega about an axis of rotation ab with an angular velocity omega its constituent particles its constituent particles of masses m1 comma m2 comma dot 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 mn which are at the perpendicular distances which are at the perpendicular 
distances r1 comma r2 comma dot 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 rn from the axis of rotation ab from the axis of rotation ab will have the same angular velocity or will rotate will revolve it should be will revolve that means the constituent particles will revolve the body rotates but the constituent particles uh, will revolve with the same angular velocity omega as that of the rigid body will revolve the same with the same angular velocity omega about the same uh, axis of rotation the angular momentum the angular momentum of the rigid body the angular momentum of the rigid body about the axis of rotation ab about the axis of rotation ab is given by l capital l which is the sum of angular momenta momentum of its constituent particles l equal l1 plus l2 plus dot 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 dot, dot plus ln equal r1 p1 plus r2 p2 plus dot 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 plus rn pn where angular momentum of the first constituent particle l1 is the product of perpendicular distance r1 and linear momentum p1 r1 into p1 is l1 so this is equation 1 l equal r1 p1 plus r2 p2 plus dot 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 plus rn pn where pn uh, where p1 equal m v1 m1 v1 product of mass and linear velocity p1 equal m1 v1 comma p2 equal m2 v2 comma dot 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 pn equal mn vn which are the linear momentum which are the linear momenta which are the linear momentum of the constituent particles of the constituent particles therefore l equal r1 m1 v1 plus r2 m2 v2 plus dot 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 rn mn vn equal r1 m1 in place of v1 we can write m omega r1 plus r2 m2 under bracket omega r2 plus dot 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 plus rn mn under bracket omega rn equal omega is taken common omega bracket open m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus dot 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 plus mn rn square therefore l equal omega i or i omega that means angular momentum l is the product of moment of inertia i and angular velocity omega l equal i omega where v1 equal omega r1 plus v2 equal omega r2 plus dot 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 vn equal omega rn which are the linear velocities of the constituent particles assuming the angular velocity of all the constituent particles are the same here linear velocity v1 equal omega r1 means linear velocity is the product of angular velocity and the radius of the circular orbit hence the angular momentum hence the angular momentum of a body about an axis of rotation about an axis of rotation is the product of is the product of moment of inertia is the product of moment of inertia and angular velocity 
and angular velocity of the body about the axis of rotation or about the given axis hence proved that is l equal i omega proved l equal i omega means angular momentum is the product of moment of inertia i and angular velocity omega vector expression of angular momentum is vector l equal i vector omega where omega vector omega omega is angular velocity which is a vector quantity and moment of inertia i is a tensor it is neither a vector nor a scalar quantity moment of inertia i is a tensor quantity another additional information is what if omega equal 1 means angular velocity is unit or unity then l equal i omega equal i into 1 therefore i equal l means moment of inertia i will be equal to angular momentum l hence the moment of inertia we can define moment of inertia i in terms of angular momentum l the moment of inertia of a body about a given axis about a given axis is numerically equal to is numerically equal to the angular momentum is numerically equal to the angular momentum of the body rotating with the unit angular velocity rotating with unit angular velocity rotating with unit angular velocity about that axis of rotation